Okay, so this recipe may look a little bit fancy, but trust us, you can still do it in less than 15 minutes. A quick conversation with you guys about what you cook midweek when you've got very little time, and so many of you said tomato sauce and pasta, so we're gonna show you a new take on that with added fish. Thank you so much, because I really need new pasta dude. Starts with a classic tomato sauce, so one shallot, if you peel and finely dice that, and then what we're going to do is fry it off in a little bit of olive oil with a lid so it kind of sweats and keeps in the, uh, the moisture as well. Once it's softened, we'll add in a clove of garlic and some herbs. We've got thyme, which you can strip the leaves off of, and two bay leaves going in just as they are. Dried is good. A couple of bay leaves, a dash more oil. And basically what you want to do is cook it until the onions are nice and soft and sweet. In the meantime, there's a kettle down there that's just boiled. We want salted boiling water ready for our pasta. And this is awesome pasta. It's fregula. It's, that is funny looking pasta. It's very, very, very micro grain. As soon as our water is boiling and it's got plenty of salt in there, these can go in for about six or seven minutes. That's all it takes. A glass of white wine going in over our onions. Oh, it's for later. And you want that to reduce down. That'll cook off the alcohol, but it'll also intensify the flavour. And now that the wine is reduced, in with the passata. One of those ingredients, you can get them in cartons, they stay in the cupboard until you need them. I reckon this is one of those dishes I will be cooking at least two or three times a week, probably. And well, that's exactly what these guys said. They said that pasta and tomato sauces, or quick sauces, is their go-to meal. So this is just another variation of it. Pop your fregula pasta into our salted boiling water. And that only needs about six minutes or so oh. to cook, which is perfect for us to prep our fish. Yes. So, as we bring our pan up to temperature, you're gonna throw some pine nuts in there just to toast them off. And then all you're gonna do is pat the back of the fish dry. Oh, a little shrunk. And then the key is a really hot pan that's oiled, and it is that high heat that's important. We're gonna cut it in half so you get two pieces of fish. That'll make it easier to flip in the pan Season it, salt and pepper. Some people opt to score the skin, which you could do if you wanted. It'll just help to render the fat down and cook it more evenly. So you can see how much this pasta swells. Mm -hmm. Now they're much bigger. So if you drain that, there's a sieve behind you. And as soon as it's drained, it's gonna go back into our tomato sauce. Oh, lush, love this stuff. And then your pine nuts are done as well. So you can take those off the heat. Then a little bit of rapeseed oil, because you can heat that to a relative high temperature. And we do want a hot pan for this fish. Lower the fish in and drop it away from you, so if it does splash, it doesn't splash towards you. That doesn't feel natural, but I'm going for it. Beautiful. Keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going. Fish Order will them. cook quite quickly, so we're only looking for about a minute or maybe 90 seconds on one side, then a quick flip over. All of the heat in your tomato sauce and fregola will now cook your spinach. So throw all of that spinach in. Feels like a lot of spinach. Well, we know what spinach does. Give it a stir up so it will start to wilt that down. And then grate in a generous amount of parmesan. Yes, please. Beautiful. Now, time to turn your fish. Well, this so it does about 80% of the cooking on one side, then you flip it over. Oh, and then the last that. thing you want to do is overcook it, so we'll take it off the heat. There'll be plenty of residual heat cooking there. Grab yourself a lemon, cut a third off the end and just squeeze it into the pan. And that'll cool it down. The oil in the lemon forms a kind of nice little sauce around it. And then the very last thing, fresh basil. It's almost mm. a risotto consistency. As it goes onto the plate, it just kind of relaxes back a little bit. Tail piece and body. There is absolutely no reason why, if you've only got 15 minutes to hand, you can't create an incredible, very, very simple, super tasty dish like that. Essentially, tomato and pasta with fish. Salted. A little squeeze of lemon juice. Oh, I'm and straight in. in there. Mm. Well, there's one word to describe giant cuspis, and we all hate it. It's silky. <laughs> it's tomatoey, tangy. This is perfection for me. Now, this is our twist to a midweek pasta dish, but what are your tricks? Let us know down below by commenting, or even better, upload the entire recipe.